Yeah, she's definitely coming along. Definitely coming along. But outside of this, uh, my own personal vehicle, uh, we had a, the, the CLS. We've had a couple of hiccups with it. Uh, somebody bumped into something or bumped something into it and they're not claiming it. But let's, let's go look at it. That's since been corrected and it should be painted by now. Let's go check it out. Yeah, here we go. I wasn't having it, man. You know, this is a, this is a personal vehicle, which I'm not gonna have long anyway, because I want to upgrade uh, baby mama. So we're just making it nice for the meantime, for the time that she does have it. So we re-hit the bumper. As you guys have seen in previous videos, it wasn't quite matching perfectly. These were the last two. So basically, this whole car has a new paint job, essentially. The whole car has been painted now, except for the roof and the trunk and, yeah, the, the hood was painted. But uh, basically, the hood and the trunk were the only things that were not painted so far. So let's check out that bumper. I didn't even bother showing you guys, but there was some spider web in here. It looked like someone had uh, backed the car up into another car or, you know, maybe pulled another car into this back bumper. But I'm not going to complain because it's done now. All we got to do is uh, let it dry, color sand and buff. And uh, then it's the next step with this. And this was freshly painted this morning even though it was supposed to have been painted yesterday. That's why nobody's around. Everybody's ducking. But this is where we are with it. Ricky, come here. So that's the end of uh, the loud excursion. I showed you guys a few videos back how aggressively loud this thing was. But now we are uh, fixing the cats. And uh, we're dropping it off at a catalytic converter installer and we will pick it up in the morning. So say goodbye to the loud excursion. So I call this the marble car for obvious reasons. And the marble car is uh, in here for, I'll show you in a sec. All right, so obviously this car is wrapped. This section was wrapped, but something happened to it and uh, the wrap was splitting. Um, I don't know uh, the prep job before because this car has been painted over five times. I think it was like six, seven times this car was painted. So we're about to take this car down to the metal. As you can see, I'm almost there. Got to take it down to the metal and then we're going to put a primer on it and then the owner's going to rewrap it this marble color or marble wrap excuse me but you can see how thick this layer of primer is right here it's like half the tip of my finger and how many colors i could not count but we had we had red black uh yellow i think it was gray and white also because this car is very well known out of in in town so you could see the you used to have the pinstripe in here the yellow i think it was a silver silver gray whatever but anyway let me get back to work and get it down to the metal
So I, for, I forgot the year making model of this car, but as you can see, Carlos is bringing this down to bare metal so we can make it good enough to uh, uh, basically, this was a, a coup to start with. And we cut this to make it a T-top because the customer wanted a T-top. So from here up is new, all this T-top section is new and we have to weld all of this uh, to complete it. And so that's what uh, Carlos is doing right now, making it perfect. So the next step will be to weld this. So these are the T-tops, we're gonna clean it up. It's been measured out and we're gonna make it fit perfectly, like from the factory. So though this side is not done, this will give you an idea of what we are doing on that side. This side is, uh, you know, he's got it welded. It needs to be, you know, perfected, but it's on here on this side, at least it's on this side. And, uh, you know, he's cleaning it all up and it's, it's gonna be perfect. Obviously, I'm gonna keep you guys in tune each step that we go. All right, guys, so this is where we wanted it, down to the metal. And this exposes everything that has been done on this car. You can see the bondo here, all of the bondo here. And this, wow, that's really thin. So this, this is all bondo, all bondo. There are divots, I know you can't see it, but there are divots in there. Bondo. More Bondo. And a lot more Bondo. So basically I'm done on the 83 Regal for today. That Bondo, I can't do it myself. But when Carlos is done on this one, he's gonna come over here. He's gonna get all the old Bondo out. We're gonna rebondo it, smooth it out, primer it, and this one goes out. Monte Carlo SS that I call the root beer float. This is the one that we are redoing. This is the second 2.0 version of the first one that we did. And uh, somehow it burned up. So the owner is having us do the second version. So Antonio right now is applying the primer. And uh, after this is going out to meet with the body and the motor. So next time you guys see this, it'll be on the frame. And here we have Eric working on baby mama's car. The CLS is almost ready, guys. We got to, after he's done uh, buffing it out, this will not be ready today because today is Saturday and we're getting out of here early. But uh, when we come back on Monday, we have to put in that marker light and the uh, fog light. And then comes the surprise for baby mama. We'll see how she uh, accepts it. <laughs> Either she's going to accept it or she's going to reject it in a major way. But I'll keep you guys posted on that. So now we're back with the excursion. And it sounds domesticated. Yeah, driving this thing yesterday with no cats. You know, on, on, on startup, it sounds good. But when you're driving through the streets, that thing sounds like a ticket waiting to happen. So it's best to put the cats back on. So Monday it is, guys, and I'm just getting in. The customer's coming to look over the 64 Impala. You guys have seen all this already. So I will spare you with a long, drawn-out introduction to this because you've seen it. You heard it. Now we're gonna check on baby mama's car, which is right here. Buenos dias, Carlos. 
Amado, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien. Yeah, so today we will be putting in that marker light. We will be putting in the fog light. And we will be color sanding and buffing this car today. As you can see, we're already working on it. The guys are already working on it. And we are going to align the bumper. Because you see that big gap, you know, that's not supposed to be there. The, the front uh, clip or bumper, whatever you would call this, it's a bigger gap. We're aligning that now along with the front bumper and this fender. I will keep you posted. All right, Charles, I'm just about done buffing out the rear bumper. You see uh, little, little gauzy parts like that. It all has to be completely scuffed out like this. So it's all hazy for it to come out right. We just did a section. Eric did a little section yesterday. And uh, yeah, we just got a little bit more to do. But other than that, I'm just about done with this rear bumper. Once again, with the exceptions, because you got to watch the edges, because the edges are the easiest to burn paint off of. So back to work. We're back in the bend, y'all. We're about to take it to the gas station and see how she drives. I think we are going to need this uh, sensor, this ride height sensor because it keeps saying stop vehicle, vehicle too low. So we're gonna chill here and give it a minute to rise up. 